I'm Elamine Abdul Mahmoud, and this is Pop Chat. Kevin, Andrea, Emil, please, for the love of God, give me something in the in the group chat. Drop <laughs> something in the group chat because I'd like to hear what you're watching, what you're reading, what you're listening to. Let me start with Andrea. All right, so I just watched this movie last night. It's called Dancing Mary. It's a Japanese horror film. Well, it's described as a Japanese horror film, but I would say it's like a Japanese ghost story love horror film, um, which are like romantic horror film. If you can have all those things together at once, it's from 2019, but it was just playing um, as part of like our Vancouver International Film Festival. And it's directed by uh, Sabu. And it's basically this, um, this, uh, they want to tear down this old ballroom, uh, but there's a ghost, a uh, dancing Mary, uh, trapped inside it. And every time someone comes to tear down this uh, old ballroom, they they kind of die. And so um, kind of die. Cool. <laughs> they kind of die. Like you're not really sure who's dead, who's not. It's like it's a little comp complicated. So it does this really cool thing where it goes from color to black and white all the time and flips back and forth. And their mission, it turns out, is to like. Uh, try and help these ghosts who are stuck in this purgatory on earth none of whom understand that they are dead uh make some sort of amends that and this is so what nice. they end up it's actually really beautiful and there's a lot of commentary there's a like sort of full underlying story of like if you are a civil servant who are you there to serve and when you forget about people having like you know like everyone having humanity and like life that is worth valuing uh, and you're only in it to just sort of like get through the day, you are living basically as also a ghost. Yeah. What about you, Kevin? <laughs> um, well, when I'm not Googling photos of Lucas Bravo, the hot French chef from Emily in Paris, um, <laughs> I have been devouring Mariah Carey's memoir, ah. The Meaning of Mariah Carey. Um, it's not shockingly, but pleasantly well-written um, and, and very shady when you want it to be and revealing and she's unapologetic about her past and about her diva present um and it's it's really fun to read and what i encourage everyone and anyone to watch is the film dick johnson is dead on netflix which is this amazing documentary that a woman made about her father's slow loss to dementia and in order to process it together, she staged very violent Monte Python-esque deaths for him. So he just dies over and over and over again in these very violent, funny ways. And then in between the comedy, they have these very real conversations about what it's gonna mean when he's dead and how it's going to affect her life, her children's life. Um, it it's makes oh, wow. me cry thinking about those conversations, but then have residual laugh thinking about all those funny death scenes. It, it's a really wonderful, wonderful film that I think everyone, once they finish their Emily in Paris hate watches, should, <laughs> should run to on Netflix. I will make time for it in between the hate watches. Thank you. What about you, Emil? Um, that sounds so good. I feel bad of what I'm about to <laughs> tell people to watch. Um, definitely watch that documentary for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I want to talk about like one of the true loves of my life, um, which is Below Deck Mediterranean. It is a show about um, yachties, so people who work on luxury yachts. And it's kind of like an upstairs downstairs. So, you know, obviously the, the, the charter guests are uh, on the yacht having a great time, actually having quite a boring time. You're going to never want to be on a yacht. After you're you describing so. Downton Abbey right now. That's what you're describing. I am. No, it's perfect. People always think it's like such trash, but it's actually kind of a really interesting sort of like class, um, class war. Uh, and then downstairs are the yachties in these cramped spaces. And it's just like a workplace drama about working on a yacht. Um, and it's, can be excruciatingly boring, but then when there's drama, it's it's so good. The payoff is so good. Uh, <laughs> and the the captain is a woman, um, and her name is Captain Sandy, and she is kind of like a terrible uh, judge of character, but also a wonderful supportive coach. Um, and you just fall in love with these people. And if you need a binge, there's like 100 seasons of it, uh, and each episode is just like like watching Bob Ross paint. I just find it <laughs> so meditative. I love it. 
I'm addicted to it. It's one of the few shows, the re few reality shows that my husband um, will watch with me. And in fact, if he ever hears the beginning of the theme song, he gets so upset because he's like, holy shit, you said you would wait for me. Um, <laughs> it's, it's, what it's what is like, that? Straight men love below deck Mediterranean. I don't know what do. it is, they but do. like all of my friends' husbands, my brother, like they all watch it. Like I obviously watch it, but that's like, it's like water to me. Like I'm so surprised <laughs> that these people for some reason are so attracted to the show. I know it's the, you know, I watch them all. I watch Vanderpump Rules. I watch uh, all the housewives. And this is the one show that he just like got into straight away. Maybe it's because there's like, there's a, my husband is not a bro by any means, but <laughs> there's lots of people to invest in. You know, there's like the deck crew, which are all the, like the people that pull the boat and make the boat go. But then there's like the great, um, the service crew. There's lots of characters to invest in. I think it's fun for the whole family. Is what I'm <laughs> <say>. <laughs> all right. I'm on it. Thank you to the panelists, Kevin Fallon, Andrew Warner, and Neil Niazzi for joining me today on pop chat. What a, what a delightful ride on pop chat the show where we help make sense of the cultural drama blowing up the internet. And also, I don't know, try to have some fun along the way. I'm Elamine Abdul-Mahmoud, or am I? I don't even remember anymore. Thank you. <laughs> Join us again next week.